Um, Coach, could you just give a couple of opening statements and then we'll have questions. Um, obviously, we're, we're incredibly disappointed by the, the loss, but I could not be prouder of a group of guys. I mean, I won the national championship last year, and I don't know if I felt any more pride in how guys played last year after that game than, than how these guys did tonight to battle back. And all year, these guys have um, they've given us everything that they could. Incredibly selfless, resilient, and they stayed together. And so while the end is... Um, Certainly hard to explain in a, a confluence of events that we'll probably try to figure out and won't. Um, I think there's such a range of emotions from great pride in how these guys played, sadness that we won't get to coach this group again. Um, probably some confusion of figuring out everything that did happen in the last 40 seconds. Um, but I hope we can step back and and have the perspective to know that uh, these guys and our whole team this year um, were just outstanding young men and represented our program and our university incredibly well for that. And I'm very grateful. It's a it's an honor and a joy to, to coach these guys. Coach, uh, first half you guys were 0 for 9 from 3 and then all of a sudden just started lighting it up. Um, did you, um, I mean, did you sense the momentum really shifting at that point when Elijah comes in, hits a couple threes, John hits a couple threes, and you actually get the lead? Well, I, you know, at halftime we were 0 for 9 on threes, and I thought all nine were good shots. So we, you know, we talk all the time about trust in the process and not being outcome focused, and so, you know, at halftime, we just don't keep, keep taking the same shots. The law of averages will take over. And, you know, we went six for 10 in the second half. We ended up 32% on threes, which is not great. Obviously, the second half, though, and, I, and we really felt that if we could get dribble penetration, and, um, and I thought our guards did that, that we'd get open looks. And, yeah, you know, John hit three, and Elijah hit two, and Connor hit one. And um, I thought that was a, a big part of us certainly gaining momentum, but I thought I also thought you know to out rebound a team like that by four, and uh, really play together and help one another defensively. You know I thought I thought their effort, particularly in the second half, was as good as we've had all year. So, uh, after the, uh, you know, they uh, maybe talk about the, uh, you know, they, they tied it up and we had the ball, bringing it down with 10. Couldn't tell from our side what happened, John, uh, when you got across the timeline. Um, yeah, they were denying shave, so I figured I probably had to either get to the rack or Jump, stop, and kick. Um, turned out to be a foul. I don't know. That's the right play. Absolute the right play there. Denying me, John had it going in the second half. I mean, yeah. He was he was huge in the second half. Hit big shot after big shot, and they're denying me like they. I mean, they tried whatever, and John was aggressive with it, and he ended up calling a foul, but absolutely the right play. Uh, I don't know, Johnny, I mean, how, how you explain um, the way things kind of fell apart there at the end. I mean, you know, they, they got an offensive rebound. And then they got a turnover, and then you know they got uh, they got the ball back for that uh, last shot before uh, before they tied it up after the missed free throws. Um, have you ever seen anything quite like that? 
at least in your time coaching? Uh, I don't know that a game I've coached and I mean we've had some big wins and had some tough losses but you know I mean that part of it's basketball you know when it's a like I said it's a perfect storm of we went up eight and if I remember correctly they went down and got a layup and yeah and got foul. called for a foul yeah. and they missed the free throw and I thought our guy had them pretty well boxed out on the rebound didn't get it they get a layup there we turned it over on the press and uh and then we missed a couple free throws. So, you know, a lot of things, you know, certainly we didn't finish the game the way we wanted. And uh, that's why you play 40 minutes. I mean, like we told the guys, life is really, really hard sometimes. And this is one of those moments. Uh, wish we could go back and do it over again. But that's, you know, these guys have played so well in tough situations all year that um, we can overanalyze it to death at the end of the day. We lost a really, really tough game to a very good team. I, I, I couldn't be prouder of how our guys played. Ryan, first half, um, you seem to be having, be having a lot of success uh, inside. Went to the free throw line a lot. Um, feel they were just kind of sagging off you a little bit, or what? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. My team was getting rid of the ball. We were uh, just playing, playing well, playing together. And it just happened to be in my hands in those, in those situations. Uh, I thought they were guarding me pretty, pretty respectively. Mm -hmm. So just had to try to ease, ease some pressure off the of shape because he was getting double teamed the entire game. Try to do uh, our, go to our game plan. When you went out, was it just uh, you bumped something, or because you were out for about five minutes? Just a uh, tweak. On um, foot. Oh, feet. Okay. Grant, not the way you want to end uh, your career in St. Thomas. We got beat in a buzzer beater a couple of years ago, and then again tonight. Um, how do you feel overall about just you know how the guys came together and, and you rallied from seven down a couple times? Um, yeah, this game and my entire career, looking back, I mean I'm just tremendously proud. Got a lot of emotions running through me, but a lot of pride in my heart. And, uh, yeah, I think these these guys are in good hands next next year going forward. These, these two next to me are. Tough guys and proud of them. Uh, like you said, this isn't the way I wanted my career. Lost on a buzzer beater in the sophomore year in the conference tournament last last week and tonight. But you know, we, we talk a lot about you get you get what you deserve in life, and for whatever reason, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel fair right now. But uh, you know, looking back, I know I'm gonna be able to hold my own hold my head high. I mean, I came into this program, punk little kid, uh, coming out a better man. I love everyone that, that's part of this program. Had an amazing four years, a lot of wins. National it's, title. National title. It's one of National title I remember forever. This game I remember forever, but the relationships with, with these guys and the guys in that locker room and the guys that came before me. It's kind of my right, man. I can't say enough. They mean, they mean everything to me. It's just a lot of pride in my heart. Anything else? I didn't okay. pretty much answer your question. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank, guys. You. Thank you. I have packets for you.